We are back and uh, let's talk about our central midfielder. Like our tactic, we are playing with one box to box midfielder and one deep line playmaker, which we are trying uh, to see if this could be a good way to play. So, what kind of central midfielder do we have? Well, we definitely have Yepes, Gerard Yepes our playmaker, deep line playmaker and someone we believe a lot to be a part of our future. One of my favorites so far this season. Great player. We also have uh, more veteran Alessandro Belemo, 28 years old. Uh, very good. We also have Ronaldo Vieira, English player. Melle Merlestein from the Netherlands, 24 years old. Matteo Ricci, 30 years old veteran. And from Switzerland, Faitami Kasami. So, we could say it's a kind of mix of uh, young players and old players. And uh, Jeppes is somebody I do really believe will be a future for us. The other ones, I don't know. We have to see. Uh, I think we at least have a lot of different play styles of the player. So um, it will be interesting to see how it, this turns out. What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, this should be a decent game today. Both managers will have a game plan. Both teams have a certain style of play, and both sides will want to start quickly. I'm looking forward to this. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works, otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated.
Oh, great attacking play. Can he put them in front? Strike forward for the keeper. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't got on the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. Still passing it around with authority. Is this the moment? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Simone Bastoni. And passing it through. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. It's with Antonucci. Oh, big chance! Can they put it away? Oh, chance taken! There is opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Yeah, even if we play this game with our reserve squad, Disappointing with a late goal for Cesena that gives us a loss. But uh, we need to have the whole squad playing, so we we will be better. Days of anticipation have led up to this, an occasion worthy of a packed stadium. Don't miss a second. Stay with us for every minute of the action. Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. My name's Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by Sue Smith on the gantry. We've got a game coming up from Serie B. What are we going to get from this one, Sue? Thanks, Guy. Well, I'm really looking forward to this one today. It'll be interesting to see how both teams line up. But what an atmosphere we have here. I absolutely can't wait. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. It's certainly a 3-4-2-1 formation, and this can be quite balanced with the three central defenders, the two holding midfielders, keeping it quite tight at the back. But then when they go forward, you've got the three attackers and the wing-backs joining in as well to cause problems. This is the lineup for the visitors. Well, it does look like a 3-5-2. Certainly offers a flexibility, mainly with the wing-backs, who can turn defence into attack really quickly. I'm sure the front two will press from the front and hope to win the ball back high up the pitch. Massimo Coda. Can he finish? And it's an early lead. A terrific start. Here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip past his marker. That's what opens up the opportunity, and then cool as you like in the finish. A little careless there as the ball changes hands. Lovely, incisive ball. 
and the keeper's done really well to keep that out. And the keeper able to hold on to it at the second attempt. Well, they've certainly got the momentum here. It's chance after chance, and the crowd are loving it. Just need to finish it off now. And the ball is still alive. Now it's in. Nothing he could do to stop the next one. And a little extra help wouldn't go amiss back there. Well, you can see here, it's a good shot to the far post. And all the goalkeeper can do is parry the ball. Great reactions from the goal scorer to follow in and put the ball in the back of the net. Good goal. I'm sure our hosts will just be focused on claiming the three points and if results go in their favour, they may just end the day. What a chance! Real opportunity! And maybe not the best idea to go for the blast. Accuracy sacrifice for power. They have a go here. And he's done really well to keep that out. It's a good first half performance guy i think they've moved the ball around well they played with the confidence going forward they look quite co oh a great chance oh great work from the keeper to avert the danger weighted beautifully and that'll do it the end of the first 45 minutes here Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, he's played well, hasn't he? Obviously took his goal well, but his overall performance has been impressive too. Hopefully he can maintain that level in the second half. Could be dangerous. Oh, really good goalkeeping there. Surely they need to play a little bit higher up the field. In behind, can he finish? And it's another goal that they really have brought against themselves, unable to get any sort of grip on a game that's getting away from them. Well, here we can see it again. He's got good movement and ability on the ball. And when he's through 1v1, I never thought he'd miss. The goalkeeper had no chance. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Very well kept out, alert and ready. After that, they now lead 3 2. Oh, that's not a good challenge at all. Card coming here, surely. And that foul has resulted in a booking. Well, it wasn't the best challenge, was it? Had to be a yellow. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away. Not least the three points, Sue. Well, that was an emphatic result, wasn't it? They looked so confident in attack. Every time they went forward, you thought they were going to score. I'm sure they'll be pleased with that. On the ball, he was brave and showed quality with his goals. All right. Why can't we play like this every game? I mean, uh, what? where have this play in the last game but yeah i'm happy could we keep this up yeah and Estan is what a great game two goals from him and he really is showing some skills for us and one of the players i do really like in our team so great victory we needed that one
two sides ready to give it their all in what promises to be 90 minutes of end-to-end -end football. Stay with us for every kick of the ball. Hello and thanks for joining us live here on EA TV. Guy Mowbray here and Sue Smith is here to commentate with me. We've got action coming up from Italy's Serie B. Your thoughts on this game then, Sue? Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. It's no surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What should we expect today, Sue? Yeah, two goals last time out, and that's why he's the focus. Difficult to mark because he's always on the move. Intelligent runs and always finding a yard of space. But will it be the same again today? This is how the hosts line up. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10, and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Well, it does look to be a 3-4-2-1, and the flexibility in this will be provided by the wing-backs. The two midfielders can help in both defence and attack, and they'll look to dominate that midfield battle. Lovely weighted pass. And it's not the best of clearances. Oh, a great chance. And the keeper more than equal to it. from here well that was seen all the way and the save is made it's played into the box and it will now be a corner well I'm not sure that they're going to get many opportunities so they'll have to be clinical when they do the crowd is certainly playing their part here and it's a short corner Puts it back. Great chance here. Well, oh, he's kept that out nicely. It's a goal for Salerni Tana. They're back the level. It's 1-0 with 27 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. A body in the way. Well, some might have given that, but on we go. Oh, it's still in there. And it's cleared away from goal. Nice possession. Is there a goal to take the lead coming? Oh, what a really good save that was. And he will go back and issue a yellow card here. Yeah, good referee to let play continue, but the correct decision. It's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. And he has been booked for that. Yeah, he had no option. That's a yellow for me. chance and the ball is still alive this could be threatening and they've scored to take a lead that's more than warranted well let's look at this again he's done really well to pick out a teammate here it's a perfect cutback and what a strike that is. Lots of pace and power, and the goalie just can't keep it out. It's a good finish. That whistle brings the first half to a close. Well, he hasn't really been able to put his stamp on the game to this point. There's not been a great deal to admire. Yeah, he's not quite being himself today. But he's got another 45 minutes to show his qualities and he'll be hoping that he can help his team get the win. Decent chance. 
it might still happen. Well, a chance might have developed, but not now. The crowd urging him to shoot. They could level it here. And that's a golden chance that's gone begging. Well, you've got to be composed and put that away. You're not going to get many chances easier than that to equalise. Can he finish? And good work from the keeper to get across and deal with the danger. Opportunity and the keeper makes the save. And really, we shouldn't have expected anything else. So it's a corner, and it might be the moment to win the game once and for all. It's put into the middle. Well, not quite fully away here. And still danger here. And the referee brings the game to a close with the points going back with the visitors. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion. Tight Serie B game, definitely this one, and we won, one nothing. good goal by Totino, and uh, yeah, uh, we will take this, close games, if we could win all of this, I'm gonna happy, and uh, yeah, even we have some bad games uh, during the stretch, so we are actually still at second place after 12 games, so uh, better than we thought before, like we said, and uh, I take it.